Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, one of the things that also occurred to me, um, like when you mentioned, especially the story of St. Moses the Black, um, is, you know, that he accepted abuse, right? He accepted injustice. Um, and like this is this is a tradition within the Orthodox tradition in particular. Um, but of course, it's simply in the Bible. But, and, and, but I think <clears throat> sometimes in ways that are not obvious. So it's obvious that, that the Lord accepts abuse. So right. he's the archetype of doing that, right? He is, he is put to death unjustly, right? Um, which, you know, that is very offensive to a modern person, you know, that to, for someone to accept injustice, right? But, but it, it's interesting. There's another side to it that I think sometimes doesn't get mentioned, was, which is, for instance, St. Paul, in one of his epistles to the Corinthians, I, I can't remember which one it was, he talks about this messenger of Satan sent to buffet him lest he be exalted above uh, his measure or something right. like that, right? And um, this idea that a demon, so, I mean, he says messenger of Satan, you know, and, and it's not a, you know, it's not a metaphor. Um, it's a demon. It's a demon. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a demon. yeah. You know, um, yeah. What does the, what does the thorn in the flesh symbolize? Actually, so the thorn is a symbol of a demon. Um, it says it's this messenger of Satan sent to buffet him so that he can, so that his humility can be served. Mm-hmm. Right. And so. <clears throat> Obviously, that's not happening outside of the will of God. He doesn't. He doesn't read it as happening outside of the will of God because he sees it as for a positive purpose, right? And there is this passage in um, Saint Gregory the Great or Gregory the Dialogist, who, uh, when he's talking about Job, I think it's his in Moralia on Job, where he talks about um, the left and right hand of God. And mm-hmm. I loved this. Um, we actually did use this on Lord of Spirits because we were talking about, well, we talk about demons a lot. Um, you know, the right hand of God, he says, is the the obedient angels, you know, the heavenly hosts who do his will and bring messages and protect us and all these kind of things. But he says, and the left hand of God is the demons. Yeah. And and uh, uh, because it's brought up, there's this passage right before um, uh, Ahab finally meets his end, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and 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 God stands up in the council and basically says, so uh, who is going to go let Ahab have it? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. And this and and several several you know angelic beings step forward and say, well we could do this, we could do this. and then finally a demon steps forward and says, you know, I'm going to go and make his prophets say uh, speak lies to tell yeah, yeah, him yeah. that he's going to he's going to succeed in this battle. And God's like, okay, go do that. Right? So St. Gregory makes the point, he says, that even though the demons have their own will and they act according to their own will, they have their own agenda, which is to destroy, to, you know, to, to th- throw things apart, all this kind of stuff, that they still end up doing the will of God against their will because of his providence, mm-hmm. right? And, and I, yeah. I, th- I think that that's the frame, at least, in which we can understand injustice. Like, if we understand that people who commit injustice— are fundamentally cooperating with demons when they do that. Yeah. Then number one, we can actually be compassionate toward them. Like you're enslaved. Okay. Maybe not say that to them. <laughs> they may not be ready to receive that. <laughs> like, okay. The only way reason why you're treating me like this is because you're in cahoots with the devil. But um, no, uh, <laughs> but, 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 but we can be compassionate toward them, but then we can also accept it as actually from the Lord. Not that the Lord himself is afflicting us, but that he's mm-hmm. allowing it to happen so that we can increase in humility, right? Like this is what the four horsemen of the apocalypse are, is they're, they're demons that have been set loose in the world mm-hmm. to bring people to repentance. Yeah. You well, know? A tough, it's a tough thing. That's to, hard. To, it's, that, it's, right? it's hard. But it's, it, it's, you know, it's, it's funny. I always tell people, it's because everybody loves talking about non-duality and talk about non-duality and think that it's great. And I'm like, Christianity is a real non-dual religion, if you want to know. But that has implications. If you want to understand what it means that God is actually calling us to, 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 to be and that God transforms evil, that God, that evil ultimately will in the end serve a purpose which is going to bring us into God. It's like that has a... That has a price because there's some difficult things in the world. <laughs> there's some, and so how do we reconcile that with with mm-hmm. and Christ? That's what Christ does. Christ shows us how to reconcile it. I mean, I don't like it. I don't. I don't want to. That when I read the the when I read monastic uh, texts and I read, you know, it's unbearable because it. Who can live that way, really? Yeah. You know. Um. But I understand it. I can understand how this is actually how reality works, and this is how you can be transformed. 
Mm. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say, you know, St. Paul just didn't know who he was in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All he had to do was just rebuke that demon and it rebuke that. You see, this is his word of faith uh, just, background coming out. You just gotta have enough faith. <laughs> but Father Andrew, I wanted to. to I, I when I heard you talk about that on the Lord of Spirits podcast about the the, the two sides and the left hand, and the right hand. I, I wanted to bring up that Saint Gregory of Nyssa talks about that as well, but at an mm. individual level, he mm. says that each person is given a guardian angel and a demon. And that the, mm -hmm. that the guardian angel is meant to to kind of encourage us into reason reason and up into God, and that the demon is meant to to test us and to to be the one pulling us down. Huh. And so you know that image you see in the in the uh, I'm going to cause in controversy cartoons. here, but no, yeah, in the cartoons with the with the angel and the demon on each side, mm -hmm. or th like I said, it's going to be controversial. But the the image you see in the toll houses with the angel and the demon on each side, mm -hmm. Saint Gregory of Nyssa actually talks about that as being the structure of our of our own being that we have these two these two beings as well that are kind of pulling us on each, in each direction yeah.